I love fashion. As a kid, I was always enchanted by the magic of clothes. My sister and I would live in dress-up boxes and watch my mum make all our dance costumes, just sequining all of them, getting excited by the possibilities of what characters we could be. Since then, I've become somewhat of a fashion icon. Some may even say a little bit of a muse. Cut to Tom Ford. <gasps> Two, three, suck in. Just walk here. There you go. Best day of my life. So I've put my hand up to rummage through Australia's wardrobe to uncover a most fascinating fashion history. Like many people, I've developed a bit of a love-hate relationship with my wardrobe and the industry around it. And I've wondered what sort of power fashion has over us. Let's face it. When you think about what Australians wear, the first image that springs to mind isn't exactly high fashion. But over time, we've built up a globally recognised multi-billion dollar industry and one we should all be super proud of. But we can't deny that this industry has also made us feel too fat, too skinny, too tall, too poor. Like, there's just so many ways that we are not good enough for our clothes. I got tired of skinny little sales girls saying, I have nothing in your size which makes you feel enormous, and you walk out of the shop with the greatest psychological hang-up you can imagine. Why is it that fashion can run so deep into our psyche? And if it is so deep, why do you think it's so often considered as shallow? For me, this is personal. And for Australia, it might just be the most intimate and underestimated insight into how the country has evolved. I'm gonna show you why fashion does matter and how it has altered the course of our history without us even knowing. This is the way we walk. <laughs> 